Well, we work with uh, uh, mostly endangered and threatened species, uh, marine mammals, which means dolphins, whales, and turtles. Uh, we've been working very closely with BP, the federal agencies and state agencies, to rescue, recover, rehabilitate, and release. The Camps Ridley is the most endangered species of all the sea species of sea turtles. There are seven uh, species of sea turtles in the world. Five of them inhabit the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, the Camps Ridley, which we have been working with predominantly, uh, are the most endangered. The majority of the turtles that were brought in were fish hook caught at the local piers and especially over in the Waveland area. We've had increased surveillance. People are aware and that one, that we're able to rehab them and are willing to rehab them and, and uh, try to put them back in the wild. So we've had increase in awareness, increase in surveillance, and then uh, probably an increase in turtles in our area too. But majority of the animals that came in did not have any obvious signs of oil. Uh, we, we did not see any animal in Mississippi uh, that had uh, obvious external signs of oil. This young turtle was brought to us on because it was a boat strike. It had been hit by a boat on the back end and it has some fractures on, on the carapace. It has two flippers missing. Both these flippers are missing and these are healed injuries. And he has part of his carapace that is lost. So, and the semicircular cut on here makes me believe that this is a shark bite that removed the carapace. Yet this animal healed and lived and lived long enough to, to heal completely with that severe of an injury. When he came in, he was alert, but then he started to crash, which is typical. And he started getting a little bit weak on us uh, about three days after he came in. Uh, five days, he was still weak. And then he started picking up again. And just yesterday afternoon, he ate completely on his own. He does have a fracture. We're very optimistic that this turtle will live, uh, but I don't anticipate him ever being released. But we've been very fortunate too that we were allowed to draw blood and do all the diagnostic mm -hmm. work because many times in the past facilities or organizations just didn't have the money to collect data from them. So, And we really were still working on finding out what is normal. So we've been able to get, get a lot of data, a tremendous amount of data. I think after the uh, oil spill and uh, the interest by various agencies, there's been a tremendous and heightened awareness of what is going on and the importance of our ecosystem. And we have learned more now than we have ever done in the past 20 years. Uh, we have made some phenomenal strides, which will, uh, I really believe, would uh, uh, help the survival and longevity of the species.